Hi students, I am Srilesh, Mathematics teacher in our school. Hope you all stay in our home. Hope you all are fit and safe. In this Corona pandemic, so many country will lock down. So our school will start a online class for our students. All of the students are watching the video and preparing all the items and uh, connecting to the test book. We will have the first chapter equal triangles in 8th standard. We know that so many triangles we have studying in 7th standard, but in 8th standard we can conclude how many triangles are equals how a triangle will equal to the another triangle we will teach in this class consider the triangle abc and triangle pqr here ab equal to 3 cm ac equal to 5 cm bc equal to 6 cm here pq equal to 6 cm pr equal to 3 cm qr is equal to 5 cm here the side ab equal to the side PR equal to 3 centimeter, BC equal to 6 centimeter is equal to PQ and AC equal to 5 centimeter equal to QR. From this we can know that the side AB is equal to the side PR and BC equal to side PQ and AC equal to side QR. So we conclude that all of the sides of this triangle ABC equal to the triangle PQR, so they are equal triangles. From this equal side AB and uh, PQ, we conclude angle A equal to angle R and angle B equal to angle P and angle C equal to angle Q. So, we conclude that any triangle have equal length of sides, the opposite angles are also be equal. From this, so many triangles in this test book, in page number 11 and 12, more practice in test book. Next, if the angles of a triangle are equal to the angles of another triangle would their sides also be equal. Next we can study two sides and one sides of triangle equal to the another triangle. We can draw two triangles one is ABC AC equal to 7 centimeter AB equal to 5 centimeter then triangle PQR, AB, uh, PQ equal to 5 centimeter, PR equal to 7 centimeter. From this comparing to the previous problem, we conclude that here AB equal to QP and AC equal to RP, angle C equal to angle R and angle B equal to angle Q. From this we can identify that if two sides of a triangle and the angle between them are equal, two sides of another triangle and the angle made by them, then the third side of the triangle also be equal. The other two angles of also be equal. Our interest book page number 15 and 16 we have more problems to solve about this. Next, we can study how draw a perpendicular bisector of a line. Draw a line PQ, then find out the midpoints of this line. Take a half of the length of PQ and mark an arc. And again the same length we can make arc from Q to this point 
and join this we get the midpoint of pq from this conclude any line have not a midpoint we made by them using half of length and uh, making arc by joining a line we get uh, the midpoint of that line it is line is called perpendicular bisector of this line pq